Abbey Flexi Capture Document Sets. We'll discuss document sets in general, how they can help us, and where they are best applied. Then we'll look at how document sets give us new power and flexibility in the way we export data. The same goes for verification. This feature can really speed up review processes concerning sets of related documents. And we'll wrap up by discussing document sets used in FlexiCapture scanning. One scenario is case management. When we're dealing with customer onboarding, opening accounts, uh, and with case management, uh, such as insurance claims and customer service, what we're talking about are related documents. And when we're dealing with these kinds of sets of documents, our customers have uh, some real pain points, such as a long decision time or the need to locate and expose uh, any fraudulent activity. So in that light, it's very helpful to be able to cross-validate all related case documents for use cases such as banking or legal or insurance scenarios. Document sets are very powerful in that they assemble automatically. So if you have several sets of documents in one batch, they'll all assemble. And we can do integrity checks to make sure we've got the right composition of documents in our batch. We can also facilitate critical comparisons either through manual verification processes such as comparisons of signatures or through rule validations to compare key fields. All of this allows us to speed up processing. Let's talk next about setting up a document set. So again, our overall goal is to make an informed decision about a particular case. And to do that, we need to extract necessary data. So the beginning steps are similar to other FlexiCapture work, where we create document definitions based on Flexi layouts or fixed forms or document definitions created based on field extraction training. So once we have all of our child document definitions, all of our member document definitions created, we can create a document set. And in that, we list the document definitions that should be included. And we can create a summary form that allows a verifier to easily perform cross-validations. We can put in assembly rules and set up export settings. So here we can see that the document definition uh, wizard allows us to select a document set and then we can add links to existing document definitions and add a summary section. And this next point is of course really important and that is that child documents in a document set should have key fields set as index fields. And if you select the index field option, then you can display the field's value in a summary field. And that can really speed up verification. Furthermore, we can select index field region and actually show the image snippet in that summary form. And that's very useful for things like signature fields. So just like document definitions that you're accustomed to already, can have multiple sections, so can document sets have multiple sections, such as the summary section, which I've spoken of, also the document set's own section, as well as a link to a document definition. So what that means is instead of directly including a document definition in a document set, you can link to a document definition. And if you do that, that same document definition can be used in more than one document set. And then once we have these document sections, we can specify the number of repetitions allowed for a given section. So in our basic course, we talked about document assembly in a document definition. And you remember the assembly tab. This is very, very similar. You can tell by the look that you've been here before. 
It's a very intuitive GUI interface that allows you to select the number of repetitions for given documents. That could be as few as zero and as many as however many you need. Um, and then you can do things like disable section order checks and add scripts as well. And it's critically important that we can now use out-of-the-box rules to compare data from not one document, but from differing documents in your document set. So that is going to really be able to speed up cross-validations. So in order to do that, you need to make those fields that you want to use in these rules index fields. And with these assembly scripts, we can do such things as key field assembly. That is assemble document sets for documents with the same field value, assembly according to inventory, or assembly dependent on a certain field value. So that is, for instance, loan documents. If additional documents are needed, if a total payment exceeds a certain sum, you can put your finger on that with an assembly script. And the summary form is a really important feature of document sets. You build the summary form to show the main fields from child documents. It's very easy to specify what those fields are, and it allows very quick comparison of fields. Summary forms can show data in table format. So here in this document set, we've got multiple passports for different individuals, and we can display that in a table view and use repeated sections as well. So if the same data, again, shows up in multiple iterations of a given document, you can specify that in your document section and then, again, show that data in table format. 